guys, how are you? Okay, today we are going to work on page 60, student's book. And please, first we are going to look this. If there is a ring around the moon, there will be a blizzard. Okay? Then, um, this means C. It is condition. Or, yes, it is condition. Okay? If there is a ring around the moon, this is the first sentence. Si hay un anillo alrededor de la luna, there will be a blizzard. Okay? Then, habrá como una tormenta. Okay? Uh, you can see two sentences. This is first sentence and there will be a blizzard. It's second sentence. All right? And it is in future and this is in present. Okay? Then we are going to check some phenomena. Tsunami, earthquake, tornado, and blizzard. And we are going to listen and match. Ah, you can do that even if you don't listen the exercise. But remember, always we need to develop the listening, listening skills. Okay? Then we are going to listen. Please pay attention. Mr. Harris, you predict weather and natural disasters. Are there any simple warning signs? Of course. If the sky turns green and it hails, there will be a tornado. Really? What about an earthquake? Well, those are harder to predict. If the old faithful geyser doesn't erupt on time, meaning if water doesn't shoot out, there will be an earthquake in that area. Okay. That's good to know. Now, I've heard that animals can predict disasters. Oh, yes. If you live near a tropical beach and see elephants running for higher ground, there will be a tsunami. Many animals get scared before a storm. I guess I'll watch my dog more closely. What about blizzards? Can you predict those? Sure. Just look at the moon. If there's a ring around it, there will be a blizzard. Okay, then we are going to listen again, okay? Sorry. Track 39. Mr. Harris, you predict weather and natural disasters. Are there any simple warning signs? Of course. If the sky turns green and it hails, there will be a tornado. Else. Really? Okay. What about an earthquake? Tornado. Well, those are harder to predict. Mm -hmm. If the old faithful geyser doesn't erupt on time, meaning if water doesn't mm -hmm. shoot out, there will shoot be out. an earthquake in that area. Shoot out. Okay, earthquake. that's good to know. Okay. Now, I've heard that animals can predict disasters. Animals. Oh, yes. Animals. If you live near a tropical beach and see elephants running for higher ground, mm -hmm. there will be a tsunami. Many animals Number get one. scared before a storm. Tsunami. I guess I'll watch my dog more closely. What about blizzards? Can you predict those? Sure. Just look at the moon. If there's a ring around it, there will be a blizzard. All right. Then, we are going to do a uh, It is, guys, a... Uh, sorry. I forgot. I have forgotten. I have forgotten. Um, conditional. And this is our... We are going to check... First conditional. First conditional has present in the first part and future in second sentence. Okay? Then, complete the sentence with information from activity A. If the sky turns green and it hides, there will be a tornado. Yes? Okay. It says... 
Y ah, always. Okay. Let me check. If the old faithful hazer doesn't erupt on time, there will be a earthquake. Okay? If there is a ring around the moon, there. What, what is number four? There will be a blizzard. Okay? If elephant run for higher ground, there will be a tsunami. Look at this first sentence is in present and second sentence has future. First sentence has present, second has future. Okay, the same present future there will be a blizzard and present there will be a tsunami okay there will be a tsunami this is future okay guys all right we are going to do next letter it's letter um, c okay this activity I'm going to try to to do a special video for this play. Okay, okay. Uh, I think it's everything for this video. Do your homework and send me your evidence. See you. Bye bye. Next time.